India is currently the world's fastest growing major economy. But over the last 20 years, it has also become one of the most corrupt and unequal. So how did India turn into a billionaire Raj? This is the home of the richest man in India, Mukesh Ambani, in Mumbai, India's financial capital. Often called the world's first billion dollar home, it is 160 meters tall and boasts a range of luxurious additions. Yet, all around Mumbai, you see slums which house around half the residents in India's richest city. To understand this huge gap between India's rich and poor, you must go back to 1947. After winning independence from Britain, India shut off its economy, building a closed, statist system of license, permits and tariffs often known as License Raj. It was only more than 40 years later in 1991 that India ended this era of central planning and reopened itself to the world. Since 1991, India has introduced a range of economic reforms, helping its economy to grow rapidly and lifting hundreds of millions out of poverty. A new era of globalization began. But India's boom came at a cost, as three big problems emerged, the first being the inequality that came with the rise of a new super-rich class. India's hyper-wealthy grew more quickly than in almost any country in history. Billionaires have ballooned in number from just a small handful in the late 1990s to around 120 today. In Russia, they were known as oligarchs. In India, some call them boligarchs. Over the same period, India's top 10% of income owners has thrived while the share of the middle 40%, the middle class, has declined sharply. India's second problem is corruption. A series of mega-corruption scandals hit the country from the mid-2000s, pushing India's position higher up in global corruption rankings. Finally, the last two decades revealed a third problem, a boom and bust cycle in India's investment model as billionaire tycoons borrowed recklessly and banks lent aggressively during the 2000s, only to see projects come unstuck, leaving banks with $150 billion or more of bad loans today. These three problems of the inequality and the super-rich, corruption and investment form the heart of the billionaire Raj. However, there are plenty of reasons to be optimistic about India's future. Many other countries have gone through similar tumultuous periods, not least America in its late 19th century Gilded Age. As America did before, so India too can move beyond its own new Gilded Age. But to do so, it needs first to fix the three problems that define the billionaire Raj. How can India's new Gilded Age blossom into a progressive era? Read The Billionaire Raj to find out.